Hey everybody, this is Eric Lewis, aka JungGTP on Instagram. So I figured I'd do a little video update. This is my 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix GTP Supercharged. Right now it is mostly stock. I have some aftermarket headlights from Ohm Massive. I plan on doing some retrofits, projectors in them here soon. I have some retrofit fog lights right now. The halos are not wired up. I'm working on another set of fog lights, so I'll be doing swapping those out. I have the on the front bumper. I have the special edition lip. If you look up on Google, type in 2006 Pontiac Grand Prix extension panel. There's a few GM websites. They're like I don't know how much shipping is like 200, and price is like you know, between two two to 400 now. So my hood, I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. So I was one of the first person to do like a custom hood on a 2004 Grand Prix. The hood I used is the SD hood for the 97 to 2003 Pontiac Grand Prix. So I cut it, chopped it up, then I glued it on using a 3M panel bonding adhesive glue. So I've had it worked on it before. It's been cracking up here. I use fiberglass bondo, so I'm planning on taking it off here soon and doing a lot of work to it. And one of the things is I plan on uh, doing a carbon carbon fiber overlay on it. See how that goes. So I have the factory wheels. These are Plasti Dip, the uh, Plasti Dip uh, copper. So not much else has changed on the outside. I took my the roof rails off. I'm going to be doing carbon fiber overlay. I plan on wrapping the roof different color. And then I also plan on wrapping the entire car. I had the factory tail lights back on. My aftermarket ones I had on the aftermarket LEDs from eBay. I'm doing some carbon fiber overlay on those and some other things. So I'm not sure when I'll have those done. I have the factory exhaust tip. I do have a special edition rear diffuser. I'll be putting on here hopefully this year. I also have the special edition side skirts. My trunk is pretty plain and bare. I'm going to do a floating floor out of plywood. And then I have a subwoofer box I'm going to put on. Then I plan on doing something to kind of make it look pretty in here. I mean it's not going to be a full show car or anything. I mean it's still a daily driver. So I'm going to do like a floating floor and then do something with it. I'm not sure what yet. So I don't want to give away too much, too much of my secrets. So I have these factory wheels on this side. These are the car. The, these are the rims that came with the car when I originally bought it. And I plan on, hopefully, if everything works out, plan on getting some aftermarket wheels from ESR. Probably just get one of their cast wheels. They're coming out with a lot of cool designs. Another thing I did, I did a carbon fiber. I mean, sorry, vinyl wrap. I vinyl wrapped these, the trim pieces. This is 3M Shadow Black or Black Shadow, whichever way you pronounce it. I'm planning on doing the roof in this color, and I'm going to wrap the vinyl, vinyl wrap the car a different color. So I don't, again, I don't want to give too much away for that. And then under the hood, the motor. It's still a stock. Uh, the supercharger is painted a different color. So right now everything is stock. I do have a uh, exhaust mods I'm going to be doing. I'll, I'll be putting the ZZP uh, front power log, the rear power log, and a two and a half inch uh, downpipe. And I have a ZZP Gen One full stack intercooler for the Gen Five supercharger. So I'll be doing that, and hopefully I can drop down to a 3.6 or 3.4 or 3.3, whatever pulley. I'm not sure yet. I'll need to contact some guys I'm friends with that do more engine modifications. So I'll be I'm plan, planning on, I like to paint the engine bay black. And it has some bolts from Downstar I'll be putting on to kind of you know, make the engine bay pop a lot more. 
I'm going to be changing the color of the supercharger. I have another supercharger that will be working on paint. I'll either paint it or powder coat it. Probably end up powder coating it. And I have... Uh, I do have a set of the aluminum valve covers from ZZP. These have water spots on them really bad. I don't... Sad to say, I don't keep it clean that much. I also have the ZZP 10.5 millimeter spark plug wires these things make a pretty good difference just know the fact factory i have the zzp silicone radiator hose i do have a bottom radiator hose but it's not installed i have a three inch cold air intake it's kind of a fender intake but i might either get a, a zzp a cold air intake air box from my friend so hopefully that works out maybe and I want to do some carbon fiber overlay like this piece and then I thought about doing the whole core support but that's a lot of work just for that so I need to take my hood off and work on the inside I need to extend this when I cut it and I cut it here I need to get something to extend it down that way and these pieces I'm not sure I might cut them off and figure something else out and yeah take this hood off and then make it look good on the underside and the top side the headlights a lot of people are buying these headlights on eBay from O massive on the interior it's basically plain it's under construction right now so all my door panels are currently off so I was working on the working on the carbon fiber overlay the window switches so you have to take the door panels completely off just to get to the window switches i have the the driver's side air vent that's already carbon fiber overlaid i have the radiator yeah radio bezel cover that's carbon fiber overlaid i've been working on my gauge cluster i painted this the rain purple and i got another set of needles i painted and I just haven't got been so busy with other stuff. My we are likewise shift knob, my adapter from six speed. This is the automatic shift knob adapter. I think it's the selector C if you buy it on eBay or from six speed on their website. One of these days I need to get a aftermarket CD player with an MP3 MP3 player or USB or memory card or something. But, I have the armrest is off too. This carbon fiber overlaid. Been working on that. Then my seats. I do have the gray leather seats. I'll be swapping these seats out for the gray leather ones. I really don't like the cloth. It gets dirty very, very easily. The back seat is all stained. So, I'll be swapping the front seats and the back seats out for the gray leather ones. And then I'm planning on doing some more carbon fiber overlay on all the interior parts. I'm not sure how far I'll go with that. So that's all the updates I can think for my car. So I have, uh, yeah. So right now it doesn't really look look the prettiest right now, especially the inside. But I've been doing carbon fiber overlay for customers. So if you want to. Do, interested in doing that contact me through instagram junk gtp and i get your prices on carbon fiber overlay parts so i'm doing trying to work on stuff for my car in between doing stuff for customers so i hope you enjoyed this little video follow me on instagram and if you like this video give it a like subscribe and thanks for watching